Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be talking about what does a blow-off valve and a diverter valve do. Okay, so before we go into blow-off valves and diverter valves specifically on how they work, we want to give you a little bit of context of the overall turbo system, how it all works, and then give you an idea of how the blow-off valve and diverter valve fit into that. So, if we take a look here at this picture, this gives you a brief overview of the com major components in the system of a turbo car. Intake manifold, or the intake, the turbo, the intercooler, then your throttle body, blow-off valve or diverter valve, and then your intake manifold, exhaust, and downpipe. So what happens is your v air comes into the vehicle through the intake or the air filter, then goes into the turbo. It's compressed from there and forced into the charge pipes. That pipe then goes to the intercooler where the uh, air is cooled down and run through a pipe, another charge pipe, to the throttle body. That then goes in the intake manifold inside the engine, goes through the combustion process, the exhaust comes out, runs through the exhaust manifold to the turbo, that goes then continues to spin the turbine uh, and then goes out through the exhaust. So the basic function of the blow off valve in that system exists for one reason when you are hard on the throttle and, a, and you hit boost pressure starts to build up in those charge pipes once you snap that throttle shut that charge has nowhere to go and basically what happens is the, the pressure is built up and you have air coming out of the turbo that's intended to go to the engine and all that pressure is still built up which is forcing its way back towards the turbo that causes what's called compressor stall. So what we have to do is then relieve that pressure to allow the turbo to continue to spin and freewheel. So when we do need it, it's available. And so that's where the turbo and diverter valve come into play. So if we take a look here at this picture of the diverter valve, if once you get the boost into the system, the valve and you, you close that throttle plate, the diverter valve will open, which then allows the air to recirculate back around to the intake on the front side of the turbo. Now, if we take a look at the blow-off valve, the blow-off valve will do the same function except for instead of recirculating the air back into the intake, it's going to let it off into the atmosphere, which is where you hear that psh noise that uh, you get from turbo cars, which is either added blow-off valves or an NA car that was retrofitted, had a turbo retrofitted on it. So, the question becomes, obviously, is it something that I should do? Do I need a blow-off valve? Do I need a diverter valve? Should I upgrade? And that really depends on the situation, but here's my general thoughts. Uh, for our, our general users who are VW and Audi specific, uh, this is my personal opinion and my experience. Most vehicles that have mass airflow sensors have issues uh, with blow-off valves. And the reason why my understanding is that when you have unmetered air that is intended to be recirculating back into the system, the vehicle is accounting for that air. Once you remove that air from recirculating back in the vehicle, it's now messing with the air fuel mixture a little bit based on what the vehicle was programmed to do, which gets throws things off and makes it a little wacky. So do you need to upgrade your blow off valve or diverter valve? That's going to depend on your situation. Uh, a lot of people do it. It does help you ensure a lot of the aftermarket ones are rated for higher boost levels. It really depends on what your purposes are. If you're just light modding, it may not be something you want to get into, but as you get into those higher power numbers, you may want to look into upgrading to ensure you're obviously holding all the boosts that you're working so hard to create. So thank you for watching. Be sure to leave us any feedback, or if you think I missed anything, leave it in the comments below. 